the Quran on the speed of light. Speed of angels turn out to be the known speed of light. We Muslims believe that angels are low density creatures and that Allah subhanahu wa ta'ala created them originally from light. They move at any speed from zero up to the speed of light. It is the angels who carry out Allah's orders. Those angels take their orders from a preserved tablet somewhere in outer space and not from Allah's throne. They commute to and from this preserved tablet to get their orders from Allah. In the following verse, the Quran describes how angels travel when they commute to and from this tablet and the speed at which they commute to and from this tablet turn out to be the known speed of light. Quran chapter number 32 verse number 5 Allah rules the cosmic affair from the heavens to the earth. Then this affair travels to him a distance in one day, at a major of 1000 years of what you count. It is the angels who carry out these orders. Those people back then measured the distances neither in kilometers nor in miles, but rather how much time they needed to walk. For example, a village two days away meant a distance equivalent to walking for two days. 10 days away meant a distance equivalent to walking for 10 days. However, in this verse, the Quran specifies thousand years of what they counted, not what they walked. Those people back then followed the lunar calendar and counted two lunar months each year. These months are related to the moon and not related to the sun. Hence, in one day, the angels will travel a distance of thousand years of what they counted, the moon. Since this verse is referring to distance, then Allah is saying that angels travel in one day the same distance that the moon travels in 12,000 lunar orbits. Science recently discovered that in an inertial geocentric frame, 12,000 lunar orbits or Earth day is equivalent to the speed of light. Namat <laughs> Ayun, <laughs>